Meet Timothy Roberts Howard. Timothy is a pillar of the community and all round good guy. Everyone is his friend, not a bad word is said about him. Timothy is, after all, a paragon of Christian values. Hello, Timothy. Michael. Ready for this week's uh, Bible study session, are we? Already on it, Michael. Already on it. You're a good man, Timothy. A good man. Uh, well, wonders try, Michael. Wonders try. Well, let's get on. No rest for the wicked. <laughs> Very good, Michael. Very good. Bye. See you later. Timothy's home is his castle, and his doting wife is always awaiting his return home with a nice cup of tea. Hello, Timothy. Oh, hello, darling. Nice walk. Oh, very pleasant, thank you, very pleasant. Your tea's ready for you. Oh, I'll just take these off. Let's take that. Ah, thank you. There you go. I, uh, I got my morning paper. Oh, great. Cruise out of my letter. Timothy is about to have the worst day of his life. Around two years ago, Timothy was entrusted with the key to the house next door, following the death of his neighbour. Timothy being Timothy, he quickly set to work using it for his own nefarious purposes. So you see, the last thing Timothy wants to hear is that people have been poking around the house next door. <laughs> I appear to have left the door running! Back in a jiffy! doing out here at this hour? This hour? Darling, it's 2pm. You didn't finish your tea. Oh yes, thank you. <coughs> Who's your friend? Friend? Oh yes, this is my model. My model for the Lerful Gala. It's Winston Churchill, you know. He looks very lifelike. 
lifelike. It's only made of rubber. What's with all the powder? Um, yes, that's just to, um, to preserve the rubber, of course. <laughs> Come on, we need to go now and get down. Best of me all. <laughs> Pleasure working with you. Well done. Shit. Pay for the breakdown service, so I may as well bloody use them. Come on, Timothy. It's a phone, not a Rubik's Cube.
God's name's happened to you? Diane, give me the scotch. Scotch? I thought you were saving it till Christmas. Well, you had a good run at it, Timothy, but it's, it's time to face the music. Time to face the music. No, 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 no! I confess! I confess! It was a recession, you know, and my wife Diane kept going on about the gazebo, the gazebo, the bloody gazebo. She had to have the gazebo, you know, had to have it. Oh, God. Anyway, one night, I found these two homeless men. I was only trying to do them a favor at first, give them somewhere to live, but then one thing led to another and I found out one of them was a biochemist back home. So I got them making drugs and the money, the money just started rolling in. I just did what anyone would do. I exploited them. But isn't that the British spirit? After all, to aspire to be more than what you are? Oh God, it just all got out of hand. I mean, I mean, it just got out of control. One minute you're the deputy manager of a little known furniture franchise and the next, you're a drug baron. Well, that's about the long and short of it. So please, please be lenient. Robert Thistle, UK Boilers Limited. Um, you made an appointment about three weeks back to look at your boiler. I went to the house next door by accident. On a Sunday? Hello, you're through to the breakdown service. Hello, 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 you're through to the breakdown service. Hello, there's anyone there? Hello.